Hi there everyone, I just wanted to make a quick video to show you my new GameCube portable I've just made. I've been working on this since around January and finally actually glad to have it completed. So many nights and days which I've worked on this and it's just been a big headache. But, got it done, I'm happy. Could have turned out a best, bit better but, hey, it's just the first portable right? It's all good. I like it, so yeah. Okay, a quick look at all of this. As you can see in the front, I've got analog stick. Use the uh, Wii Classic Controller one. D-pad. 4.3 inch screen. Two speakers, left and right stereo. Start button. C stick. A, B buttons. And then I used, for the Y and X buttons, I used the Classic Controller buttons. At the time I wasn't very good at drawing curves and stuff in AutoCAD, which is what this entire case was designed in, and then cut on a laser cutter. So yeah, I'm actually quite happy with this. But yeah, anyways, let's do the top now. R button. Power jack was originally meant to go here, but this side was actually meant to be on this side. So basically when I stuck, well when I glued this part onto the case, it's supposed this was supposed to be flipped, so yeah. I messed it up, I didn't realise until I actually started putting things in the case and I was like, oh I'm just gonna have to leave it. And another design flaw which I didn't really think about was that when I measured the case well actually no, when I measured the motherboard, I didn't also add the fan dimensions, so I can't I didn't I wasn't able to put this fan inside. The original GameCube cooling fan I wasn't able to I was like oh great oh well anyways moving on volume down volume up and the uh, headphone to speaker switch so flip it this way you got your headphones and use these controller the other way speakers yep okay disc uh, lid switch if you see in the pictures I used a different switch but when I took that picture the switch actually broke, so I had to switch out and use one of these old crappy ones, so yeah, oh well. Z button. Now if you're wondering, yes, the Z button's in a weird place, but I I find it alright, so it's down to personal preference, I guess. Yep, L button. So yeah. Pretty much hold it like this. Feels alright. On the bottom, we've got the uh, video out. I was going to use a standard uh, GameCube uh, port here, video out port, but then it decided to break at the last minute so I had to switch it out and use this. And then the second player port, as you can see, you can see there, headphone jack, power plug, and then all the wires inside where the vents are. So, so yeah. Sorry, my phone is going off. Okay, where was I? I believe I was showing the bottom. Oh yeah, I just finished doing the bottom. So yeah, video out, player two, headphone jack, vents for, and then you can see the insides. So messy in there. Power plug. So yeah. Anyways, I should show you a quick demo of this. But wait, let me just show you the back actually first. You see on the back, I've got the Zelda. Triforce logo, laser etched into the back, and also I have the uh, GameCube logo laser etched onto the disc lid. And you can see it's. This should actually show the thickness really. It's 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 a bit bulky, but it's still nice. And then I use a standard disc drive, and it's, it closes and it, it's held on with a magnet. I'm guessing you're all wondering why not you use a Wii key. But at the time I had made this, I had already designed it, and then the wiki mod already came out, so I was unable to. And I just thought I'd carry on making this, and then the wiki one could be in the wiki mod could be in a different one if I ever make another one. But anyways, enough of me rambling on. I'm going to show you a quick demo of it. Unfortunately, it does not have batteries, but. Just run off the normal GameCube jack. So yeah, 
Everything's working. I've got a thousand block uh, memory card in this, which is quite nice. Uh, all my save files here. Yeah. See, so, yeah, everything's working. Okay, let me just. Disk start spinning. This was actually one of my favourite games for the GameCube. This and the first one. I mean, you got 90%, 19% on this. No, this whole file was actually only done on this, so... Because I actually had this working around April time. But I didn't have a sound amplifier, amplifier in it, so... I just had to use headphones, it was alright. So yeah. Fireworks. Jump is working, missiles are working, morph ball, FX. Oh wait, let me do that again. So shoot, missile, jump, morph ball. Then changing the weapons. Movement seems to work too. And also the L and R buttons are working fine. See the D-pad. Yep, D-pad works fine. Start button. Hmm. Anyways, I'm going to show you the uh, video out just to show that it actually works. So I'm just going to zoom into that. This is just showing video out. Have it plugged in with the c custom cable I have. Player 2 is plugged in, power is plugged in. And it's on the screen. Got my second player here. Oh, yeah, I forgot you can't do it off the second player. So, yeah. On screen you see player one, player two. I move. So yeah. Okay, you see my two characters there. Two characters, the same one there. Next one. So yeah, player 2 does work as well. This will come handy if just anyone wants to come over and play, so it's all good. So yeah. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed watching.